We're going to demonstrate how to remove a piston pin or a wrist pin, how to press that out. Before you start, look at your wrist pin and if it has a snap ring right here, it's a floating wrist pin and you don't need to press those out. You just remove the snap rings and you can push them out uh, usually by hand. On the other hand, this kind is actually pressed in. It's a press fit where the pin is pressed into the connecting rod and it has to be pressed out. I wouldn't recommend that you do this unless you're planning to get new pistons or for some reason need to take these off because this will ruin the piston most likely. So don't do this if you're planning to reuse the pistons. But to press this off we have this fixture that hooks under where the piston sits in here and it, it hooks onto the connecting rod so that we press directly onto the connecting rod and not onto the piston so that we don't bend the connecting rod. So install the piston onto that fixture there. Come around this side, we can see. You can see that it's actually supporting it right on the connecting rod here, so that when we press, we're pressing against this. And we find an appropriate rod that'll that'll push that. That one works well. Just make sure that the rod is smaller than the wrist pin, so that as you push this in, the rod doesn't get stuck inside the piston, cause more problems. And then this is optional, but you notice. A lot of times as you push on this, it'll start to cause the piston to rock this direction. And because we are not planning to reuse these pistons, we're okay with destroying them. You can put something under here sometimes that will just... I didn't lift, notice that I didn't lift the connecting rod off of the tool, but that supports the piston so that it can't, it can't rock back and forth. Bring the press down. <laughs> Make sure that it's centered. Okay, I heard that little pop noise. That was the wrist pin breaking free. That's pressing it out. When it's done, the wrist pin will drop down into this lower piece here. Oh, yep, something to watch for is this the very problem we're having right now. It's not lined up with that hole, so we're going to hit it. So we've got to release this. And make sure that's on all the way. Okay, that was a great example of how we've got to make sure that these are lined up. Now you can see that it's moving again. There we go. Just drop down out of there. <laughs>